All right, hello everyone. This is going to be part two of part one's video because I ran out of recording time apparently and I didn't record the very end. So this is going to be like a minute or two video. I'm just going to show you how basically I, after the, you know, the finalization in paint.net on how I changed things in ETS to bring it into SES as a file. Uh, now, when you click into ETS2 Studio, this is gonna come up. I've pretty much already done this. So I'm just gonna show you basically what to do here. Select the truck that you did a case. In my case, it was Kenworth W900. I'm gonna go to skin properties. Here is where you name the skin whatever name you want I just put Joe smoke truck here is his skin internal name you cannot have this uppercase to any way because the game won't recognize it or the app won't recognize it so it has to be lowercase skin type select airbrush unlock at level that is the level that you want your skin to be unlocked at obviously just select level one it's only a skin this is where you pick your skin price. You can you can make your skin price a million dollars. You can make it one dollar. I just select a hundred. Select that skin stock, or select skin as stock. Here is what's going to differ than in the past. Okay, here's what's going to differ than in the past. Because in the past you had to select this. However, with the updated SCS with the updated versions of games you no longer need to select this okay because if you do what's going to happen is you won't have everything done correctly but your skin will not show up this is the reason why do not select that just leave it as this checked you'll come down here select the type of cabs you want I'll just decide to put it on all three Next, you're going to browse for your truck skin. Wherever you saved it at in the computer, that's where it's going to be at. Browse it, open. This is the finished product. Go over to workshop icon. This is going to be that 256 by 64 image. If it's any bigger or any smaller, when you go into the game, it will crash it. Or better yet, when you get ready to go and select the color of your truck, that's when it will crash. Once you've done all that and all these check marks are green, you will need to go to export mod. You click it. It's going to start exporting. I've already done it, but I'm trying to show you what happens when you do. It's basically converting it over to a SES file. When the box does pop up, as you see here, name it whatever you want, save it into your mod folder. Bam, there go your SES mod skin. So I just wanted to throw out the, that quick video because they didn't record the end of the first video. Uh, but the third and final video will be actually how it looks in game. Well, I'm gonna warn you now, just like I'm gonna warn you at the beginning of the next video, it may not be perfect. I am just trying to show you how it is done. So. Thank you all for watching this little quick segment. Take care.